Well, there's a sneak peek of the roof when it's finished. All we have left to do is seal all the vents and put the uh, caps back on and the vent covers. You can see it. I mean, it definitely looks better. To do that, I'm just using Rudy again. Hi, Rudy. What do we got here? Self-leveling. White. Let's do this, Rudy. I'm over here at Cassone's. This is actually why I was here. I'm doing a, um, a roof job over here. They're doing some body work and I'm doing the roof job. So we're doing it on a 2005 Prowler fifth wheel. Let's go take a look at it. This is really interesting uh, floor plan on this. Uh, I think it's a four slide. But the reason why I'm really doing a roof job and you guys can call me out on it is it needs a new roof, but my customer won't be still uh, keeping this for much, much longer. So rather than getting a whole new roof, they just want to go ahead and do a roof coating. Yeah, I'm not a very big fan of roof coatings, but they do have their place. This roof isn't at its complete total end of its life. So we're just going to extend the, its life, hopefully for a couple more years while they're using it, uh, rather than putting an investment into a brand new roof. If they're only going to keep it for a few years, it doesn't make any sense. So let's take a look at this roof. It might be hard to see the white coating on this Dicor EPDM roof is towards the end of its life. If you uh, kind of take a look over on the edge right here, you might be able to see where the black's starting to come through, where it's getting stretched out. The black is the actual rubber roof. So that's what we want to protect. So that's a quick overview about the roof and what we're doing the ACs will stay in place because the roof underneath it's probably gonna be um, well protected and then when it comes to the sealant Dicor has two different opinions on the matter they say clean and seal and they just do the uh, coating over the top I think that looks really bad like awful bad in fact you can kind of see the roof poking through right there so what I'm gonna do is just clean off the sealant um, coat the roof and then put the sealant back on top that way at least the uh, uh, it'll look a lot better so let's get this started well here it is a uh, max air vent cover taken off you can see the nice ring around dirt where that vent cover was up to and including a big pile of leaves sealant that's never touched. Right. So. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that white stuff is actually part of the roof. That flakes off. So that's actually roof material that we're losing. It's getting flaked off. You can kind of see it better there. And that's why we're putting this coating on because this coating is replacing that white part. That's its main purpose. There's one, two, three, four, five vents sewer vents on this roof i suspect it's going to be just as easy to replace these as to try to clean them off so i'm just going to rip them off uh that'll be a lot easier besides these are really inexpensive and they're deteriorated pretty bad anyways so that's what i'm doing guys okay, so here's the last one i'm taking off it was a little bit tough <laughs> on there a little bit better than i thought it would be but now, uh, Fleetwood, when they built it, they used sewer vents for the uh, roof vents, uh, the attic vents, whatever you want to call them. So uh, on the front and back, I'll be replacing these with the correct mushroom vents. If you just use sewer vents, it'll work, but of course vermin and dirt can get in here really easily because it's exposed straight to the atmosphere without any sort of screen. So I was cleaning up the uh, sealant here. See it's gapped really bad. Uh, it's going to be easier to clean these off if I take these screws out, but when I took some of the screws out, they're really painfully too short. So I'm going to just take all the screws out, make it easier to clean, and I'll put longer screws back in. Hopefully that keeps it from moving so much. All right, guys, I got it all prepped, ready to get uh, these vents put back on. I'll put these vents back on, the new ones, but I won't seal them, but I'll put putty underneath it so when I'm pressure washing it, I don't get a lot of water inside. So you can see all those are off. 
and this one's off. And I'll put new screws, longer screws in this. And after that, we'll pressure wash this. But before we pressure wash it, now of course before we pressure wash it, <laughs> I need to put plastic all the way around. Otherwise this uh, activator, prepper, whatever you want to call it for the roof uh, coating, will kind of damage the uh, sidewalls. So we want to keep as much of that off the sidewalls as we can. Well, this is the uh, tape uh, manufacturer's recommending. It's like a masking tape, but I guess water doesn't affect it too much. Never used it, never spent money like this before on uh, masking tape. But I don't want to damage any body work I just did on it, and I don't want to damage the decals any more than they are. So this is the tape I'll be using. Wow. Guess we'll see how it goes. So far it sticks pretty well. So I'll use this as a base and then tape against this. Uh, and then once I'm done, uh, I'm going to come back with a non-sagging uh, lap sealant right here. That'll beautify the edge. All right, continue on, my friend. Got a long ways to go. <laughs> all right, guys, it was uh, quite the struggle. A little bit of breeze here, but I did get it all wrapped up. It's not a, it's not a contest in looks. It's just trying to keep the stuff off the uh, sidewalls. So now I just have to uh, mix this up. So I guess the key to this whole uh, coating system is this activator cleaner. This is going to uh, prep the uh, the rubber to uh, actually accept the uh, paint. <laughs> Number two, the paint. So you have to put this on and do the paint in the exact same day. Uh, they're recommending pour the whole thing into one of these sprayers right there and you just spray it. I'll be scrubbing the roof a little bit because there's some uh, dirt under those uh, vents that I had to uh, get off first. Uh, the nice thing is that hopefully the uh, the moisture will actually help that plastic stick a little bit better. Uh, so at any rate, got to put that in in the sprayer, spray it down there, let it sit for about 15 minutes. Uh, rinse it off, let the whole roof dry, because you can't put this this paint number two on if there's any water on the roof. So let it dry, nice sunny day, so that'll work out pretty well. And then um, roll on this paint, two two coats of this. I think they're recommending. And you have to do this all in one day. They're very specific about that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So here's the uh, liquid that preps it. It's I got a little bit of a pink hue to it. And what this does is soften up the, uh, the rubber. It actually opens up the pores on it, is what they say. It's kind of like when you put a brand new Dicor adhesive, oh not adhesive, but um, roof sealant on. It'll make it a little bit soft. That way, uh, this will actually bond to it. Otherwise, it, it would just be like putting wet, uh, white paint on it. So, looks like another bottle will do it. You can kind of see, I guess, a little bit of a pink hue. Not too much. Alright, so, all I did so far was basically rinse off the roof. Get all the dirt, extra stuff off of there. So you don't want to scrub this when you put that uh, that cleaner on, really. I just did a little bit right there because it was really dirty under that antenna. So it's all rinsed off. Now I just have to spray the um, the uh, adhesive promoter, applicator, prep primer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, about three to four foot arcs, the entire length of the uh, roof. Let it that sit for at least 15 minutes, then rinse it off. You want to rinse it off until there's absolutely no bubbles left. Then you have to let it dry completely. So that's my next step. Well, so far I'm very unimpressed by frog tape. <laughs> I wasn't even hitting that with uh, <laughs> the fresher water. So I would not buy frog tape. That's kind of overpriced. Well, to my eye, I don't see anything remotely changing uh, I mean I don't know I guess I took off some of that uh, layer with my hands that's it a couple more minutes time to rinse this thing off I'm just gonna rinse off this uh, roof now it's been 15 minutes uh, I mean it just looks like exact exact same procedure that it did before so there's really no reason to record this I rinse this off 
and let it dry. It's a nice sunny day, as you can see. And uh, we'll let it dry, then I'll roll it out. Two coats in one day. Uh, what I will say is, as soon as I'm done uh, rinsing it off, I'm gonna take this plastic off. That way I don't, if anything did get behind the plastic under the wall, it's not being held there. Then I can rinse it off when I get on the ground. It's a good idea. Okay, so I've just been letting it dry. You can see this puddle down here. It's got a milky consistency to it. So that's a lot of the old roof we scrubbed off and rinsed off. And we'll get up on top and start painting this thing out. I got the lid off this guy. Instructions say it needs to be mixed for five minutes. So I'm not going to hold the camera and mix for five minutes. But I'll be back in five minutes. How about that? All right, we'll call that five minutes because it's been five minutes. So it's still pretty runny. One solid color. Not clear anymore. So I think we're going to call this good. Uh, the roof's nice and dry. What I've done now is I've taken the uh, AC shrouds off there in the front and in the back. I didn't want to do that before because I didn't want to spray the insides of the ACs too much if I could help it. So now I can paint around those ACs. It, the roof's all fine right there. And then what I'll actually end up doing is around these vents and most of these skylights, I'll probably end the, the, uh, the coating right here. So when I put the, the die court lap sealant on, it'll actually go on the roof. And the, the die court lap sealant's gonna do a lot better job than uh, <laughs> this coating. Uh, and then rather than trying to get so close to the edge with uh, the roller, uh, I'll hand brush the uh, edges from the outside from the side as uh, the top first coat is uh, curing once that's done then I'll put a second coat on and it should be done and ready to uh, be sealed so there's my bib plan dump that into there use that and roll it out you guys will see that in a second well here it is the first coat about halfway done so this goes on like paint. I'm just doing my best to keep the uh, brush marks out because this is really just de decorative. This is not a weatherproofing. This does not seal the roof. All this is is protecting the rubber from the sun and the UV. That's really all this is. Okay, so this is pretty much just a beautiful thing. So try to make it look good. If you can. Well, here it is after the first coat. I think it's already pretty much dry. But it still cures a little bit more. I'm going to uh, do the side right here with a brush all the way down on both sides and then do the second coat. Not too much to see here. That's all I'm going to be doing. So I'll check back with you. Well, okay, there's the first coat on the side and the top. Obviously from here, it looks fantastic. I still have to seal it and put the stuff back together. So one more coat, put it back together, seal the edges, and it'll be done. All right, here I am on the roof. Not wearing shoes again. So this is the first coat. Really not too much to see. The second coat's just gonna uh, hopefully even everything out and uh, give it a little bit more protection from the sun. Again, this is not weatherproofing, this is not sealing it, this is just protecting the rubber. So, here I go again. Well, here I am doing the second coat. I've done it from there to there. I don't think you can see much difference, but I think that's what you're supposed to do. So that's what I'm doing. A little bit more to go, and this will be done. Well, here we are about a third of the way done with a second coat. See the differences between that section and that section? I don't either. All right, so there's a roof after uh, two coats. Not a very good view of the sun, but... I have to do is... Uh, 
put some Rudy on here. That that man's name is Rudy. It's not his real name. That's the uh, corporate name. At any rate, this is the non sea leveling <coughs> uh, lap sealant. So I'll be putting this right here and running this down. So there's here. the bead right about there. Just take a little bit of your time. Cut the uh, nozzle. I don't know. About a 45 and just put it in there. As long as you keep your pressure even and go slowly, it'll be fine. No reason to uh, smooth this out anyways. This is again just some flashing to help divert the water over the top of this rail. This might be a better indicator of what we're trying to accomplish here. You can kind of see the gaps between the rail and the, and the roof there. So we'll just be filling that with this uh, sealant. <laughs> All right, guys, I got it all done. I just have to wait until this lap sealant uh, cures a little bit and I'll put the max air vent covers back on. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, I got the shrouds put back on, everything's sealed. So you can kind of see in this uh, low sunlight all the imperfections in the roof, but it's all done. Got two coats on. And uh, it was, it's a rough day, but it's all done. I guess uh, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So at any rate, that's installing. No, I'm not installing. I guess uh, putting a EDPM Dicor a rubber roof coating on again this is not weatherproofing this is just protecting the rubber roof extending its life a little bit longer ideally replace the rubber roof don't put this on